Okay. Uh, this is kind of a redo of another video that I had made a long time ago on my first YouTube channel. Um, that, you, that video didn't have a lot of explanation, and I, I didn't even talk through it. So what I've done here is um, I've come up with a way to convert a Makita that runs off of a 9.6 volt NICAD or nickel metal hydride battery and I've modified it to run off of an aircraft LiPo battery. So I'm going to cut to part of the original video I made and what you see is what you kind of call dead bug um, circuit where you just take a bunch of components and just solder them together and then I potted them in epoxy um, I took that and uh, mounted it inside the drill as you can see here at the top end of the the handle and uh, there's just enough room in this for one of these aircraft lipo batteries um, I did put a piezo, piezo speaker in there but the piezo speaker doesn't work because I think it's compressed too much so uh, anyways let's cut back and this is the same drill, obviously, um, and this video is going to elaborate more on uh, how I did it and the original circuit that I used um, is the same circuit, almost exactly the same circuit as this uh, battery accumulator or a battery monitor which basically you set a voltage and the battery alarm will go off when the battery gets down to a certain level the one I have that's mounted in here is hard set to 9 volts uh, when a 3 cell lipo battery you don't want the the voltage getting down below I think it was like 2.4 volts but for a margin of error I, I set it so it's 3 volts so that hopefully none of the three batteries would uh, um, would ever get the cells would get below 3 volts each um, and the way it worked is that when uh, the battery voltage got too low this light would come on and then the uh, alarm was supposed to sound uh, and basically this battery fits just perfectly in the base here you connect the lip lipo connectors up and then it just kind of closes and this battery is a little low but when you first press the trigger this light will flash because the voltage will briefly drop below 9 volts but then it goes back up and the, the light goes out and then when the battery runs down this light will stay solid um, this will do the same thing it's just already built and you can order them and it'll probably fit in there just as well um, if you don't want to use one of these you can use one of these which is a hobby uh, lipo cell tester and really the way this works is that you plug it into the charging port and it gives you three green lights when the battery cells are good and if any of the cells dip below a certain amount these lights will light up telling you which one's low and it, it will beep 
these are relatively uh, inexpensive there's all sorts of different styles of them um, and so the reason that you you need this circuitry is that the uh, you know of course lipo batteries don't don't like going below a certain voltage it'll ruin them um, since I've done this I actually think that let me see if this would work I think that eh, doesn't quite fit I think with a little bit of uh, effort I might be able to get three 18650s in in one of these and you could use those instead but you'd have to uh, wire them together somehow that's it thanks for watching